This day in history, 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 history. This day in history for February 5th. Our event in history comes from the year 1918. Stephen W. Thompson shoots down a German airplane. This is the first aerial victory by the U.S. military. Stephen Thompson was an American aviator of World War I, flying as a gunner on a French aircraft in February 1918. He became the first member of the United States military to shoot down an enemy aircraft. Kiffin Rockwell achieved an earlier aerial victory as an American volunteer member of the French Lafayette Escadrille in 1916. Our notable birth of the day comes from the year 1942. Roger Staubach. Roger Staubach, nicknamed Roger the Dodger, Captain America, and Captain Comeback, is an American former professional football player who was a quarterback in the NFL for 11 seasons with the Dallas Cowboys. He attended the U.S. Naval Academy from 1961 to 1965 and was a member of the 16th Company Centurions. He played football for the Midshipmen and won the 1963 Heisman Trophy. After graduation, he served in the U.S. Navy, including a tour in Vietnam. Staubach joined Dallas in 1969 and played with the club during all 11 seasons of his career. He led the team to the Super Bowl five times, four as the starting quarterback. He led the Cowboys to victories in Super Bowl VI and Super Bowl XII. Staubach was named Most Valuable Player of Super Bowl VI, becoming the first of four players to win both the Heisman Trophy and Super Bowl MVP, along with Jim Plunkett, Marcus Allen, and Desmond Howard. He was named to the Pro Bowl six times during his 11-year NFL career. He is regarded as one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Our notable death comes from the year 2020. Kirk Douglas was an American actor and filmmaker. After an impoverished childhood, he made his film debut in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers in 1946 with Barbara Stanwyck. Douglas soon developed into a leading box office star throughout the 1950s, known for serious dramas including westerns and war films. During his career, he appeared in more than 90 films and was known for his explosive acting style. He was named by the American Film Institute the 17th greatest male star of classic Hollywood cinema and was the highest ranked living person on the list until his death. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.